Guys, today I want to talk about someone very special to me, probably very special to a lot of yous, and that man is no other than Scott Coffin. And I was a bit nervous about making this video because all the controversy between Scott and some of the actions he's made, and I just want to address all the nice things he's done for people like Doco Streams, charities, fan games. He's done so many amazing things, and I felt like I needed to make this video because Scott is obviously one of the main big parts for me because if you guys don't know when I started my YouTube channel my first 100 subscribers came from basically Scott because I built up a big FNAF community from that and that was really really amazing I know 100 might not sound a lot but to me 100 at that time was amazing and I got it in such a short amount of time because of Scott's amazing games and his amazing work so I just have to thank him for that thank you so much Scott Coffin for your amazing work and I know how hard you've worked you're an extremely hard working man and I know this because FNAF was going to be your last game it, he literally took off on his last game he was going to make which then led to a number 8 yeah if you guys don't know before Scott made FNAF he was working on games for a year and none of them were popping and then he just done a madness with FNAF 1 and then and the rest is history. <laughs> I know there's a lot of controversy between some of what he said and some of what he's done. Personally, myself, I am very similar to Doko. I am all about equal rights, especially being a person of color. As you can tell, I'm an Asian brown male. So, you know, I know what it's like to get bullied. I know what it's like to feel different because of the way people look at you. I know what it's like to be treated different. Just everything like that. I know what that's like. So that's why I was a bit disappointed in him when I heard the whole controversy between the LGBT community and obviously if you don't you guys, I, you guys probably won't know me personally that well but I am a very very big person of equal rights and I believe that everyone should be treated the same everyone should have an opinion just like the LGBT community where they should have opinion against what Scott is doing because personally I think it's it wasn't right I think he could have made better decisions because the LGBT community are just like us they're no different they're literally human beings and yeah everyone's a human being no one's different and I feel like when Scott made his apology i personally think it could have been better and i did expect better from him because obviously people have feelings people can be upset especially the fnaf fan community we are a massive community insanely big obviously people who are part of the lgbt community are, are in the fnaf community as well but he was he was gonna retire We know this as um, he said he was going to retire obviously a lot earlier than he expected like now we didn't expect him to retire this early but I mean it's because of all the threats and stuff he was getting but you know that is totally unacceptable people should not be sending his family and him death threats and plus he has like six kids now so you know he's gotta he wants to retire he wants to look after them spend more time time with his family which is so good so amazing I'm so happy for him. But um, if you're, you know, if you have a different sexuality, you're a different race, you watch me. I literally love you either way. I don't care. Okay. I've always said this. I go on how people treat me and not how a person look or what they believe in or what sexuality they are or what they do. It literally makes no difference. I don't understand. But um, yeah, guys. Hey, instead of making this all like sad and stuff, I want to do something in favor of school. So I thought, how about, you know, <laughs> we um we watch all the FNAF trailers from 2014 to 2021, just like in a memory of Scott, you know, just go through all the amazing things he's done, the amazing games he's made, the lore, the books. I know we can't obviously go for the books because we'd be here for like days, okay? <laughs> but you guys know what I mean, right? So how about we go from all the trailers, we watch all these bad boys, and then uh, yeah, you guys can let me know down in the comment section below what your favorite FNAF trailer is and uh, yeah, how you feel about Scott leaving. Because personally, I'm very sad, but uh, I mean, I'm ha very happy for him though, extremely happy for him. He just made it. He's very successful. He's done well. He's got a family. You know, I'm really happy for it. But enough of that. We are going to watch FNAF, all the trailers. And uh, yeah, what are we waiting for? <laughs> but um, yeah, guys, it's going to be a good nostalgic ride. Yeah! Oh my God, it's so nostalgic. During the day, it's a place of joy. Get off my screen windows. God, I remember being scared as hell watching this. You have the night watch. Because look at that limited power Bonnie standing in the hallway and the thing is and he takes the mask off look at that beautiful boy just I could give him a kiss <laughs> 
if you guys remember, um, I think it was this, this picture here, this used to scare the hell out of me as a kid. Like, Scott done such a good job, I don't know, like, this has, like, that old futuristic look. I don't really know if there's a word for it, how to explain it, but... For me, personally, when I was a little kid, my friend, I remember, showed me this. And he was like, oh, have you seen this game, FNAF? And I was like, no, I haven't. He was like, you should see this. And I was like, all right. And um, I remember seeing this one picture where, like, they dance. Look, they dance. And the, their mouth and the way they just move like that, that scares the hell out of me. That really scares the hell out of me and always has. I don't know why, but I've always had a massive fear of that. Oh no, it's just like, look how menacing Chica is. Nah, but Chica is hungry. She, that's the face of let's eat, right? And then Bonnie's always just like out of it. Yeah, these were the three main characters I remember he chose. And then when he chose Foxy, Foxy wasn't actually in the first trailer. If you guys see here, hold on. Night Nightwatch. Yep, yep. And I remember this, the... You know that face when, oh my god, that's actually the face, oh my god, I don't even know. That face scares the hell out of me as well. It still does to this day, I don't know why, it freaks me out. And I, sw yeah, they do that in the game, don't they, where they like turn. And uh, I actually might do FNAF 1 again in the future, guys, because, like FNAF 1, 2, 3, because I never done those with a face cam. That was when I was doing no face cam on YouTube. Look at Chica, so mad. Have you noticed Chica's always looking more mad than all the other two? Like, look at Bonnie and Freddy, they're just kind of neutral, and then Chica, Chica's just like, nah, you stole, you stole my wings. Actually, wait, no, she's a bird. That would just be weird. <laughs> and then, so this what? I remember this part. Where is it? Not there. It's this bit here. When Bonnie runs, I remember that's obviously, that is actually what Foxy does. Because Bonnie doesn't run in the game. And I remember Scott saying in an interview with Doco that he didn't want to show Foxy uh until the full game was out and you could see him on pirates Cove and stuff because obviously bonnie does not run down like that okay bonnie is not running down those holes but uh yeah let's move on to fnaf dude this was a creepy one falling down falling down falling down yeah look at that face actually wait there is no face <laughs> look at that no face oh and then the and then phone guy again. When we all heard oh, phone guy. Hello. When everyone thought phone guy was purple well, guy. This, then chances are he's made a very poor career choice. Yeah, indeed. Indeed. Forgotten. God damn. Look at that sexy beast. <laughs> this man old. Damn, Freddy looking hella cute. <laughs> Deactivated. Oh yeah, and then Foxy was the only one that didn't get a toy animatronic and then we saw the new toy animatronics and we were like, damn Bonnie Is a girl now? Oh, and then we saw this all the camera system stuff. Then there was no doors I remember there's a big theme on no doors and everyone's like, oh <laughs> Everyone's like no doors and then redesigned Reactivated and then an ad so yeah Reactivated, then Chica. Oh, and the Wither animatronic scared the hell out of me. Especially Bonnie. Bonnie got on my nerves actually. Zero doors, yeah. <laughs> that actually could have scared me though. Yeah, and then everyone would be like mangled here. Everyone was like, oh my god, who's this new animatronic? And then it was like mangled. Everyone's like, why did that was mangled? And then oh I remember that became a massive controversy. And then yeah, everyone was thinking purple guy was phone guy. Which he was not. Um, I still don't actually know the name of Phone Guy. Is there a name for Phone Guy? I can't even remember. I don't even know. Dude, his razor sharp teeth. My man's looking like a shark. And Toy Bonnie. Um. Oh, and Balloon Boy. Balloon Boy wasn't shown in the trailer actually, but he was. He was very, very creepy. Then the, the wyverds, the wyverds were a big part because everyone was like, Whoa, what happened? Did the animatronics get in a fight or something? Why is like. Freddy, Bonnie Chica, the hell happened? Because I remember, I think it was about FNAF 2 3 is when people started thinking, okay, this isn't a normal game. This is a game where loads of people are going into this. And I was just like, what? I was just like, nah, bro, they, there's no theorizing in this. And then there was, and I was just like, damn. When literally my friends would come up to me and be like, oh my god, you know this, 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 this. And I'd be like, what? Because there's apparently, like, I didn't know there was so much lore to this game. Well, I don't think many of us knew that at the start, but... God. Zero doors. And the Foxy jump scare. I remember watching that the first time. That made me poop! 
at least five times. Okay, and here's the FNAF free one. I hate FNAF free though. I can't, I'm not. I'm just gonna be honest. I hate FNAF free. And then look at this. The posters. He will come back. Purple guy. You guys remember? Damn man. God, Scott. Scott was so good at trailers. I like building hype and building like suspicion like I remember everyone would like I remember he'd do loads of things where you'd have to brighten the picture to see what there was behind it and everyone would just go it straight into Adobe Premiere Pro brighten 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 or just use all these effects to just see what they could see he always does and then I don't know why it showed these actually these are the FNAF ones I don't know we have a place for him Oh, and then- Oh my god, this is still- <laughs> Bro. This is when Lady Demetresque was released. Was revealed in the trailer in Resident Evil 8 Village. That's how everyone be able to- like <laughs> And then FNAF 3. But I remember this part right here. Uh, when Springtrap's doing all that. We're all like, who is this? Every I remember everyone was like, Bro, it's Bonnie! It, it just wasn't Bonnie. <laughs> everyone was like, bro, it's Bonnie. It, it really wasn't Bonnie. They did <laughs> Okay. All right, really? Really, Scott? Oh, hell no. This was bad. I don't think I... I don't think I watched this trailer when it first came out because I was so scared of FNAF uh, 4 that I just didn't want to watch it. Because I didn't watch the trailer before the gameplay came out. So I watched the gameplay a bit and then I didn't watch the trailer. So I remember this is when uh, we were in like a whole new setting. Everyone was like, what the hell is going on? Like, where are we, huh? Scott, where you, where you taking us, huh? And then <laughs> we were all just like theorizing where we were. We're in like a bedroom. We got a flashlight. Who we playing as? Like, oh my god, the FNAF community is so amazing. Like, we all just want to learn so much. Especially FNAF 3. That was when all the lore came in. Uh, I'd say. I'd say that was when the lore was at its point. It's just a shame the game wasn't up to like standards that we wanted. But you know, we can't have everything. Okay. So this is where FNAF 4 came in. Where we had the flashlight. Uh, we had like all of this. This was literally so good. Yeah, people would like look at like the frames and stuff, like zoom in, brighten all of this to see what they could see. I don't know if Bonnie's there. I'm nope. gonna brighten this while I'm editing it, but I feel like this could be something there. Yes, yeah, so, like I'm pretty sure Scott is in one of those frames, if I can remember. I can't exactly remember, but I think he might be. But uh, yeah, let's continue this. Oh, I hate that noise. There. You guys, if you guys are an OG of the channel, you remember when I played FNAF 4, huh? Hated that so much. I wanted to complete that game so fast. Especially when I had to talk to you guys while doing it Because I can't hear over myself. Oh, I should have read that. What did that say? Oh No Wait, what was that? Uh, what have you brought home? I didn't bring anything home. Oh, that was Bonnie. It was bonbons. Shabons Close the doors of course of course Chica Chica cheeks Plush trap, I done that in VR. Can't believe I done that in VR. Can't believe I beat that. Foxy. Big big face. The Freddles. And then the build-up of the music, man. I hate it. <laughs> Wait, hold up. I just noticed something. That's a different jump scare sound. Scott changed that. Listen. That's different! Wait, what? That's different! And then we have Five Nights at Freddy's 4. God, that game still is probably one of the most games where the lore was just never found. It was just never there. I hated the breathing mechanic in that. Because you had to turn up full volume. And this... Oh, this FNAF game, man. Scott, this is one Scott messed up on. They've stopped you. Chica cheeks. Uh, they've scared you. Bonnie. <laughs> Why does Bonnie look so funny without ears and eyes? Like you just can't take him seriously. They've haunted you. And then Foxy. Foxy is so creepy, man. Oh yeah, and I remember in FNAF one when everyone thought Foxy was a good guy, but now they're cute.
I love this trailer. Even though I never played the game. Type again. This is not my thing. I remember seeing a lot of YouTubers play it though. And they, a lot of them actually really liked it. I hated it though. I really didn't like it. Freddy Fazbear, Bonnie, Chica. And then the, 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 the logos keep going and going and going and going and going. Yeah. But I, I, I personally really didn't like this. But you know what? They were pretty cute though. I like them. They're pretty cute. Oh yeah, and then mangled at the end, you know, just vibing, hitting the ping pong. <laughs> and then mangled at the end, just like <laughs> coming soon. That was a good trailer, though. Oh, this is my favorite trailer, hands down, to the ground. Spring trap, panic, dread. I love this. Oh. And you guys know what I love about this? He used this in uh, Security Breach when they released the second track. Like, you guys remember that song, the Ballora remake? Ding, 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 ding. Ding, ding. That song is so good. That song is different. But I remember him using that song, and I was like, oh my god, Scott, have my children. God, I miss FNAF, man. Like, I can't wait for security breach now. And then the vents. Everyone's like, what? We're moving? What? We finally don't have poo in our pants. We can finally move. Deep below ground. I love this. I don't even know how they do this. Like with the animation. I love that. We're going to sleep. Freddy's just looking goofy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't take that seriously. Especially the voice actor for him though is so sick. Angry person. I love it when she says that. Don't move against us. Don't move against us. Secrets don't keep. And then Foxy shines. And then Ballora. And then Freddy. And then Baby. And then we can see Bonnet on his left. And everyone was like, what the hell? Bro, what happened to Bonnie, man? Just puberty didn't hit him. You know what I mean? Like, his growth spurt just didn't come. And then Baby. That is so creepy. And then Sister Location. That's my favorite trailer. That is my favorite trailer. Scott done such an amazing job on this. And then the jump scare? That scared the hell out of me. <laughs> I remember watching this one at nighttime as well. You don't know what we bid for. Yeah, you don't know what we bid for. Oh, I hate this game. I really don't like this. Nah, I'm sorry. I hate this one. I didn't even finish it on the channel, guys. I was looking back at the playlist the other day and I was like, should I finish it? I was like, I don't know. You guys let me know down in the comment section below. But I didn't I didn't enjoy this game. I enjoyed the soundtrack, you know, the soundtracks were on point, but you know that's not what I should be enjoying. I should be enjoying the game. And the game just for me, it just wasn't it. Pizzas. I remember this. I remember I love seeing the YouTubers like YouTubers reactions to this. I remember like seeing everyone just like wait what? Why am I feeding kids pizza? Like why am I making just I don't even know and then coming soon but like yeah it was it's like a new day it's your time to shine it's time to take your career into this. your own hands yeah you've saved money your whole life great and everyone's now like what is this because like a tycoon type style game take a huge gamble on your future a gamble that comes with a 100% chance of success in some cases what are we talking about? Freddy We're talking Fazbear. about becoming a Fazbear Entertainment oh, that franchise. Face is Look at his eyes. That's right. Restaurant that my dog? ownership and management. <laughs> it's like Polo. Something almost anyone can do with a limited degree of success. Sure, it's a lot of money to invest, but everyone's doing it. And that means it's safe. Nothing to lose but college tuition. With your initial investment, you'll receive everything. <laughs> this was such a troll started, game from Scott though. A small Scott room, took the absolute and electricity. Piss. With this. But don't forget about the money. But then you there was so much lore to it. As well. it, it, it closed Use everything. It decorate, so well. Buy a stage, buy attractions the and hell? animatronics. Bro, and look at that nasty more. kid. Now let's take a look at a few things that will help you get started as a Fazbear oh, Entertainment franchise. I remember playing this one. And atmosphere. my mom knows Making the FNAF sure series. Establishment and she was like, What are you playing? Because sometimes my mom watches my videos. Entertainment. And she'll be, she was Having like, a lot of why are you playing this, huh? Restaurant will She's like, this is not for now. <laughs> I was like, it is. Bonus revenue. Coin-operated games and attractions can generate that kid additional is revenue like a 50 during year old the day, and a four -year -old which means body, more bro. money in your pocket. 
ready for reinvestment. Health and safety. There may be times when you purchase something I'll of questionable it. quality, and we don't blame you. Cutting corners is just good business. But there yeah, are until steps someone dies, to ensure the Molten Freddy, half-bodied, running and around my pizzeria. Liability. <laughs> Being a thrifty shopper is smart, but be aware that buying things on sale comes with a certain amount of risk. Aside mm -hmm. from the daily risk of lawsuits, there's also the risk that something might be hiding inside yeah, whatever you just faulty. purchased with that steeply discounted price tag. Of no course, lies, that would only be a serious danger if there were something outside that's been trying to get in for months now, which we are not confirming to be the case. This concludes the amount of help we are legally obligated to provide. Remember, you are now the face of the newly rebranded Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Wear that smile with pride and I really let's make enjoy some this game, money. Guys. Fazbear Entertainment is I thought this game could have been so Stephens much Metal. better. It had so much potential. Oh. I'm a little bit nervous for this, but the goosebumps are just... Oh. Okay, guys. Uh, <laughs> I see the offices here. Norco. So you can actually I don't... customize the offices now. And there's challenges here as well. Loads of challenges that we can do. Oh, my God. We have the vent system. Oh, what? Okay, is that fusion? The, the cup system. Yo. Ryan. There's so much happening. 20 difficulty. 20 difficulty. <laughs> Cool. The ultimate custom night is not something to mess around with. This is the ultimate custom night. Ah! Oh my god! Yeah, we bird likes you. Thanks very much. Oh, these was this actually you. the trailer? Oh, oh, is... oh, no! oh my god, it was. Oh I never. <laughs> oh my god, Donk is such a joke. See, Dolko's so much into the lore as Whoa. well, where he's just like, oh my god, just look at his face. But this game, I don't think we played this on the channel, did we? No, we didn't. I played it on stream. Yeah, I played it on stream. If you guys but yeah, I remember um, playing this on the streams and I actually really liked this to be honest. It was cool how it had challenges and it also had like a lot of lore. Apparently we're playing as like, I think purple guy in this or... People were speculating his son, Michael, as well, but I personally I think it's purple guy. But yeah, I remember this. I didn't know the trailer was Ryan, Raz, Doko, Corey, and Fusion. Just all just playing it. So they must have got early access then. I didn't know that. Uh have I seen this? Oh, I haven't seen the VR one. I played the VR, unfortunately it broke. Obviously we couldn't finish that. We'll go to we'll come back to it one day, guys. Don't worry, we'll come back to it one day. I'll save up for another VR or something. This was such an amazing experience though with the amount I played. So amazing. So unbelievably scary. This, this here was actually cut from the game. I watched it on YouTube and it's actually really creepy. Like remember I was saying when they danced in FNAF 1 that I got really creeped out by the start? I would have freaked out looking at this in VR. Carl the cupcake, he's, he's just chilling. Bonbons, look at that, look at that face. <laughs> so amazing as well how they teamed up with Steel Will. Such an amazing, so amazing. That's, that's cruel. You know what, Scott was like, yo, you guys didn't find FNAF 1 scary? Huh? Oh no, sorry. You didn't find Foxy scary in FNAF 1, huh? You found the other three scary, you didn't find Foxy? You know what, let's, let's just uh, change this, let's just... Uh, kill all the fans in the community let's just all make them have a heart attack because foxy can actually run at you now in fnaf 1 and jump scare i remember that that is horrifying it's never happened to me i saw it happen to markiplier though and i was like nope uh nope <laughs> i was like, i'm gonna make sure that doesn't happen god fnaf 3 was bad oh don't like that game i mean it's so fun but it's so scary what the hell Oh, when the power goes out. Oh, come on, that wasn't scary. Who's gonna be scared of that? That was just cute. Oh. Your friends are worried about you. Oh, wait, no, this might actually be my favorite trailer. Please come out. Oh, if you guys noticed, yeah? Watch this. I didn't notice this till a couple months after. Look at those big scissor ears. Look at that. Ready to chomp or cut. <laughs> if you look at those ears, guess who that is? It's Gregory. He grew some big ears. It's Vanny. 
Like, I didn't notice Vanny was standing there. Please come out. Please come out. No. Gregory, I may have lost my temper earlier, but it was just a glitch. I didn't even notice you can- Oh, there's Moondrop. Top left, you see that little stalking freak? Look at him. It's been such a difficult day for all of us. I didn't notice this as well. Look at that, there's a big spiral staircase. I want to go down that as Gregory. <laughs> That's going to be Why fun as hell. Come out and we can play a game together. It won't happen again. It won't happen again. Bro, the sounds are so good as well. It's Look how clean it looks. The sounds are so good for Gregory. I also Gregory, told... Be still, be still. Bro, I did Freddy hit... Freddy's voice Gregory, just broke? Like, the hell? Still. Don't mind it being that deep in ultimate custom, right? Us. And then, the monkey jump scare. <laughs> there it is! The <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I love that trailer so much. I really like that trailer. Gregory. Oh, and this is the second one. Ding, 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 ding. It's getting late. It's getting late. Hey, yo, Vanny kind of bad, though. <laughs> Let's get you home. Let's get you home. Get off. Oh, I, if you guys notice here, wait, wait, wait. There it is. You see that little dot right there? I'll do a zoom in on it. Right there. That dot. I'm pretty sure that's like Moondrop or something, like poking out. You have to look really closely to see it though. Plus, I don't think I can see it that well because I need glasses. So I don't even know if that is clear for you guys or not. But uh, you can actually see someone's head just like. And put you to bed. And then put me to bed. That's just weird. Left, right. This looks huge. I see you. Oh, and then her voice changes to I see you. And then the laugh. I really like her laugh actually. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it's creepy but it's so cool. I like how it lights up when it goes to security breach. When and here I we go, the one of the you. best trailers. William you speaking. Nothing. You were nothing. small. You were small. Pathetic. Pathetic. But now, but now you're my slave, Vanny. <laughs> Are you ready? That's how I should be. Look at her just strolling down. Huh? I remember, I don't like the look of Vanessa though. Like, look at this. Like, what's up with you, huh? You're looking like Play-Doh. And then the, the song drops. Wait, wait, it's gonna be dropping this minute. And then Vanny's like running over. Wait! When fear takes hold. Wait. I love that! <laughs> I love that so much. <laughs> this is the best music ever. Gregory, we can get you out of here. Oh, and then we got our first Do look at Gregory. Oh, Monty's golf course, bro. I'm gonna grab a golf club and shove off they Monty's bum. They won't stop hunting you. None of them will stop hunting you. And then underground bit was quite weird, but cool. Oh, Chica Cheeks in her habitat. We have to get you out by morning. Not really, but a habitat. And then a ball pit into the pit. You will do, do it. it. Imagine, imagine it was like the books where you could time travel. That, nah, that, that'd, be, that'd be a stretch. That'd be a stretch. What are you thinking? Huh? You will bring me what I want. Bring me what I Look at Roxanne. Look at her eyes. You and then Moondrop doing his little dance. Look at him. Some no 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 hold on hold on hold on someone actually turned this into a Friday Night Funkin' mod okay I will play it so bad I actually someone turned a f this FNAF song the Ballora remix into a Friday Night Funkin' mod please do that okay <laughs> and then oh oh my god oh my god and then wait There's for it more going on here than you realize. Yeah, I think. And then purple guy. There he is. See that big claw? Oh, damn, man. He's looking huge. He is looking thick.
But, uh, yeah, guys, that's, uh, the end of the FNAF trailers for today. Um, yeah, I just wanted to go through these, you know, in mem memory of Scott, because, you know, in memory, bro, I'm acting as if he died. <laughs> uh, in his retirement, you know, just go for his literal work, one of his life's work, um, his seven years of hard work, just amazing, honestly, oh, amazing seven years of hard work. If only FNAF came out when I was this age, I would have been making so many videos on it. It's just a shame I was like, probably like nine when the first FNAF came out or eight. No, yeah, nine or eight. So, but um, yeah, thank you, Scott, for everything you've done. You've done a lot for me. You helped me hit that first hundred subs. I couldn't be more grateful because your games literally, they literally got me my audience. So, and obviously I got to be extremely grateful to you guys. Thank you so much for sticking around, for just sticking by my side. You guys are truly like friends and family to me. And uh, yeah, I couldn't be more grateful for a more amazing community. But Scott, oh, it feels like a goodbye though. But I know it's not at the same time because he's still going to be working on some of the games behind the scenes. He's obviously just not going to be as active on like Twitter and stuff and you know, stuff like that. He's not really active on Instagram though. So I wouldn't be uh, he, I don't think he uses Instagram. But yeah, Scott. You're an amazing man. Go crazy doing being a dad. <laughs> Go crazy being a dad. Um, just don't, if your kids annoy you, just don't stuff them into suits. Uh, <laughs> nah, but Scott, honestly, we all wish you the best. We all love you, man. And personally, in a way, I don't think he meant anything against the LGBT thing. I personally don't think the person he rooting for or voting for, whatever it was, I don't think he knew that person was against LGBT and yeah I, I personally think that I believe Scott is not actually like that but uh you know what can we do guys but yeah thank you guys again I don't know why I'm saying this so much but I'm just really really grateful for you guys Whew. all right <laughs> and uh yeah I hope you guys all really enjoyed this video and uh, I'll see you guys next one thank you Scott Oh! 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 Oh!